to go even further beyond! Yeah, my name is Akashi, and in this video, I'm bringing you guys a Super Saiyan 4 Goku Zenkai video, which is crazy, crazy. Toshi was not capped when he said that GT is the team that they're going to be focusing on. Unlike <laughs> God Key, you saw that Super Saiyan Blue Goku has his Zenkai, but the Vegeta doesn't. So in this case, Vegeta, in the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, um, has his Zenkai. And now this guy is getting his Zenkai. Not today. So the day I'm up, um, recording this and uploading this is probably the 28th of um, of the, um, April. But this release is on the 5th of June. No, May. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so literally in a week's time. And um, we're going to be looking into this guy because Super Saiyan 4 Goku isn't bad at all. But the fact he's getting a Zanka, I feel like this is going to be one of the more useful ones. And he's got some interesting feats, especially for GT specifically. Uh, from what I've seen, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is more so... Um, well, we know that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is more so just his own type of unit that's just doing a lot of output. But this guy here is really buffing the team. But hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button on this grind to 20k. All my socials on the top of the screen this is the youtube channel but we got a twitter twitch red instagram and a discord link all in the description below but yeah man let's look into the actual super saiyan 4 goku zenkai so um looking at him here i've got him at seven stars five thousand of course so you can have a decent decent uh spectrum of like what he looks like uh this is his stats at uh, only seven stars if you go to 14 which i'll probably have him because i feel like that there, there's an event also coming with him i'm pretty sure um his stats are going to be quite high and they'll probably do a booster pack too so um yeah uh looking into his main ability um i don't have the before on me like i usually do because legends maintenance right now is like hitting like a brick <laughs> but um you can see that his main ability uh, restores key by 50 I believe it always does that plus 25% to damage inflicted 20 time accounts I'm not sure if it had that before I doubt it did but this bit is crazy nullifies enemy restore when it reaches zero when this character attacks for 30 time accounts so the main ability pretty much ensures that the ultimate art just it, it's gonna kill no matter what because usually they add this to the end of ultimate arts but the fact that it's in the main ability um, it just works with everything, which is beautiful. But it's only 30 time accounts, so bear that in mind. Uh, what I said earlier, there's going to be an event, right? This is why I said that. So uh, it's going to be, I, I hope it's so we can get Z power as well. It, that's what it seems like. But it says one plus one to unique equipment. So just got to be careful. We just got to be careful. We just bear that in mind. Um, I'm stronger now. So this is his first unique ability. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 50% to damage inflicted, reduces damage received by 35% and restores health by 10%. The restore health thing wasn't here before. I don't think these two were here before either, but that looks good. On top of the stats that he already has, uh, you can't win against me. Restores key by 30 every time when faced with an enemy. Um, I'm pretty sure he got key when he switches in. But we're going to get through the whole thing anyways because he gets two extra unique abilities. Uh, restores key by 30 every time when faced with an enemy. So that's just switching in. That, that's the same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm so tapped. <laughs> that applies the following effects to self according to the number of time accounts elapsed since the start of the battle. Um, now that I think about it, actually, this is switching in, but also every time, I'm pretty sure an enemy switches out, which is neat. Which is not what it was before. From yeah, oh crap, that's actually fire. That's f oh crap. I I, I I slept on that for a second. I, my, my mind processed that so slow. But that's actually fire. That's actually fire. But um, back to this applies the following effects to, uh, to self according to the number of time accounts elapsed since the start of the battle. Fifteen counts elapsed minus five to strike cards cost cannot be cancelled. Thirty counts elapsed plus thirty five percent damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. That's useful. I'm not gonna lie. Um. 
that just makes him stronger late game and it could not be cancelled which is the key part for me uh this is the one that you get at zenkai 3 so unlocks at adept warrior of love pride and courage gain buff nullifies enemy special actions that activate when changing cover for 15 time accounts when this character enters the battlefield 15 time accounts is way more than enough time for a character to probably want to cover change so the fact that that can happen even though it can only activate twice the fact that that can happen is very useful twice is enough because not a lot of units actually do that unless you're facing like units that just consistently blast cover or stuff like that but if you're facing units that have like like lf super saiyan 3 goku's instant transmission that is crazy useful i'm not gonna lie it just just stops that all the way and then you can get the ultimate arts off it's really cool really beautiful <laughs> scarlet force this is the one that you get at zenkai 6 unlocks at powerful applies the following effects to allied tag gt when this character is switched to standby now this is what i'm talking about when he's buffing gt so just because he switched to standby he gives the gt member that comes in plus 30 percent of damage inflicted for 15 time accounts and then plus 30 percent to key recovery which is beautiful like i like that um because he already gets key on switching so key recovery given out to other people just keeps things up uh, most gt characters get key switches in as well so um gets key switching in so like key recovery is probably the better option to go you just be over you don't want to be overfilling key like it's unnecessary um strike hearts inflicts enemy attribute attribute downgrade plus 10 percent to blast damage received so he like it's how he works on power with super saiyan 4 vegeta they're both zankai so that's really good uh special move times 10 oh my god i love i'm actually going to zankai him probably to seven just because of this you know just this just this this is this is enough for me when he says times 10 that is enough for me deals massive impact damage inflicts all en enemies with no switching for free time accounts uh that this is like vegeta or blue i love this so much because it just guarantees you landing it on them instead of them switching out which is beautiful inflicts enemy attribute downgrade plus 20 percent damage received on hit uh the green card uh plus 20 percent to damage inflicted that's beautiful increases his draw speed wow wow that's beautiful and nullifies attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions that's beautiful ultimate arts super bombardment fist more times 10 this is well i'm not gonna lie deals massive impact damage um applies the following effects to self upon activation and then plus 30 percent to ultimate damage inflicted for three time accounts and then it says here gain attribute upgrade minus 100 percent da uh, sustained damage cut so just so you can do more damage when you activate it which is really cool uh he on occasion he'll get a strike cards that um that can give a buff but that's that works for the whole team and then his zenkai ability is obviously going to be gt just from that z ability i um, unique ability earlier and then the z ability is not going to change but um yeah this guy looks very solid for the whole gt team he's going to be solid regardless but this at zenkai 6 is what makes him useful for the whole team but overall at zenkai 3 i still feel like he's going to be really good just because of this and then on top of that he has a few extra feats that make him neat like switching somebody out will give him key and then his ultimate arts actually nullifying uh the rest, um then the made ability sorry uh, allowing him to uh nullify this is really cool it's cancelable though from the seams of it uh because it doesn't say anything that's what toshi mentioned in the last video and stuff but um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed my input on this like i said we're not getting this today from when i'm uploading this we're going to be getting this next week so bear that in mind but i'm just gonna leave it like that i ain't got much more to say honestly super Saiyan 4 goku looks good i do feel like he is worth it um however i gotta bear this in mind if we go back to the banner it ends on the 6th uh that's that's the month i, I keep forgetting because i'm in the uk it ends on june 22nd so by then we would probably see what anniversary units are like so i suggest just waiting definitely waiting because you don't know what's next just bear that in mind so yeah i'm gonna leave it like that um he is worth it from what i see like i said just to reiterate but I suggest waiting because he's going to be here for a long time and you want to know who's coming for anniversary before you make any decisions. My name's Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please, lend me your energy!